Hello and welcome. My name is Aaron with IMIT and today I will be going over how to get your pictures off your phone. This is going to be a two-part video. Uh, the first one is going to be how to get your pictures off your Android phone and the second will be how to get your pictures off of your iPhone. Something to keep in mind, uh, there are programs that will do this for you. I personally don't prefer them. I'd rather do it this manual method. I find it much simpler as well as you have much more control over it that way. So let's get started. The first thing that we'll need to do is to plug the phone into the computer and you're, the best way to do that is to use the cable that you use for charging your phone that came with it. Uh, I like to use the one that came with it because it, they tend to be better quality than a lot of the other ones that are out there as far as the aftermarkets go. So it doesn't matter which side you plug in first, you can plug into the phone then the computer or vice versa. Uh, so let's start with doing that. So now that we have it plugged in, uh, if it needs to apply a driver, it will. As you can see, now it's recognizing the phone. And so we will want to go into our file explorer, which you can do from here, or you can also use the right click right here on the start menu, and then you can go up to file explorer and open it that way. So if we go into the phone, you can see that there, I've got two different locations, two different storage locations. Um, one thing that can happen, if these don't show up, it's going to be because you probably didn't unlock the phone. Uh, so definitely make sure that you unlock it if you have a screen lock on your phone. Um, we're going to start by going into the phone, because that's going to be where most people are going to have it. My phone has the option of an external SD card to plug in. And it just allows me to actually expand the amount of storage I have. But a lot of people I know don't use these. So the, this, the procedure is basically the same on either one, but I'll go through both of them. So if we go into the phone, you're going to find quite a few folders. This is going to be the file structure of your phone, and DCIM is what you're going to be looking for. And that is going to be where digital camera photos go. If you were using a digital camera, this exact same procedure works and actually uses this exact same folder. So we will go into there, and then we're going to be looking for where it says camera. So if we go into the camera, you see we have these photos in here. I like to keep my phones free of having too much information on them, which a lot of times when your computer starts or your phone starts having a problem, it's because you've got way too much data on there. And I like to keep it clean because that's a great place to go. I mean, generally what you're going to run into is suddenly you're going to find out you need more data and it's not going to be convenient or more space and it's not going to be convenient for you to get that off of there at that time. So this is a good thing to go through and do regularly. So in this demonstration, I'm going to show how to just copy them and leave them in place, but we actually, I will go over how to take them off of there as well. So to start, I'm going to left click and then drag to select everything. And then like we talked about in the copy and paste video, I'm going to use the right mouse button to right click and go down to copy. So now that actually puts it into what is known as the clipboard, uh, and it's in the back end of the computer, but it has got a copy of it there. So we're going to go into our pictures folder here, and then we are going to go to the folder that we had made, or that I'd made earlier, as the test. So these are some of the pictures I was working with. Let's go ahead and delete those. So then we're going to right click and click paste and that will actually take all of those pictures that I just pulled from that folder in here and put them onto the computer itself. So the next step that we're going to be looking at is say we want to pull pictures off of the SD card. As you can see there's far fewer folders in here because the computer, the phone doesn't use the SD card quite as much unless you tell it to. So then we're going to go look for that exact same folder, the DCIM, go into there and then go into camera and then we have all these photos in here again and in this demonstration I'm going to show how to actually pull them off of it altogether. so if I drag after left clicking and then drag and then let go of the left mouse button and then right click and go to cut cut is actually going to make it so it removes them entirely from the location so I'm going to right click here so we can see that in real time and actually open the pictures folder in a new window. So now we have both windows open. We can go into this phone, the phone backup that I'm making, and then I'm going to right click and make a new folder. And I'm going to name this folder Phone Backup Cut. 
if I double click on that and then right click and then click paste you can see it's actually moving them off so they've disappeared now off the phone but they are however on the computer and that's a great way to free up the storage on your device and that that is about the extent of it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below or if you have any other tutorials that you'd like to hear about uh, please mention that in the comments below as well if you like this video and found it informative please give me a thumbs up and like and subscribe if you are looking for more tutorials in the future. Thanks and have a great day.